Hello and welcome to more nerdy rodent geekery today. I'm having a quick look at Min Dali. What is this? Well, it's like a minimal version of Dali Mini. Yes, here in the About section it tells us Min Dali is a fast, minimal implementation of Dali Mini in PyTorch. So, what do you have to do to install this? Pip install Min Dali. Okay, that's nice and easy. What else have we got here? Okay, we can open it in Colab too. So, if you haven't got a GPU at home, there you go. Right click, open in Colab. There's the Colab. Yeah. Min Dali, you can just run that and, and do your prompt in there, court sketch of Godzilla on trial, and, and you'll get Godzilla on trial, a courtroom sketch, yeah? Okay, nice and easy, nice and easy. Of course, there are a couple more things to do if you're using a 3090 like me, so let's pop over here. And uh, yes, my environment, of course, is Ubuntu 2004. I am using an NVIDIA GPU, and you should use one too, with the NVIDIA drivers and CUDA toolkit already installed. You will, of course, also have Anaconda, so that you can Conda create minus minus name Mindali Python 3.9. And once you have done that, you can Conda activate Mindali. Yes, that's that's activated your environment. And then you can Git clone. I, of course, have already downloaded it. So I'm going to change directory into my GitHub Mindali. There you go. OK. And then you will want to uh, pip install. I, of course, have already pip installed PyTorch. So there we go. I have pip installed PyTorch. Then you will want to install Mindali. There we go. I'll pip install Mindali. There, done. I have pip installed Mindali. That's it. That's it. There you go. You've got it installed and you've got it running. Uh, now, you can, of course, use it in your code there. There's a bunch of code, but it also comes with a little command line tool. So we're going to scroll down here. There, command line tool. That's the one we're going to use there. So Python image from text.py. That's how simple this is. Let's do photograph of a cute badger drinking tea and eating Battenberg cake. Now, there's a couple of fun things on this. When you're running it, as you can see there, it does a little tokenizer. So you can see it's it sort of split Battenberg up into two things, but all right, fair enough. It does eventually know what a Battenberg cake is. Uh, and you can also do a little grid size here as well. You can specify your own grid size. You can do one by default uh, or, you know, th two, three, four. So I'm doing four here. So this will give me 16 images. And by default, it will go into the directory that you're running this from and it will be called generate. Now, if we just have a quick look at the, uh, at the, the Python there, so image from text, there you go. There are a few arguments you can pass to it. You can pass it mega or no mega. So if you want Dali mini, the mega model or not the mega model, uh, text, seed, grid size, image path, models, root, and token count. Now it will, of course, download all the stuff for you by default, and that will go into the pre-trained directory. You can see there, you've got the BQ Gandhi tokenizer, and the decoder and encoder for Dali Bart Mega. So yeah, that's fine. It will do everything for you. It'll also give you a little ASCII version <laughs> of the thing that you asked for, but there it is, generated.png. There you go. You've got a photo of a badger drinking tea and eating Battenberg cake. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Let, let's do some other things. Here we go. So you've got an impressionist painting of a rat using an old telephone. Exactly the same sort of thing, but here I'm making it a smaller grid. So rather than having it four by four, I've got it three by three. And the image path, it's going to save it to mouse.png instead of generated.png. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Got a different seed in there as well, so you get a slightly different image. So that that will again do the same sort of thing. Impressionist painting of a rat using an old telephone. It does the text tokens, does all the sampling, and then it'll come out here in just a couple of seconds as mouse.png. Tra la 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 la. <laughs> waiting for art to be generated. There you go, mouse.png, there. Cool mouse using a telephone. Look how awesome that is. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And then just one more for giggles, one more for giggles. Let's have pencil sketch or pencil drawing even of a mouse wearing cool headphones. And here I've done a grid size of two, just so you can see the grid size of two, different seed and headphones.png. So this should be a little tiny bit quicker because it's only doing a grid size of two. So you've done four, three, and two. So you've got a big grid, a smaller grid, and an even smaller grid still. There it is, sampling the image tokens. And in just a couple of seconds, I will have a pencil drawing of a mouse wearing cool headphones. There we go, headphones, mouse. Look at that, how awesome is that? It's a mouse wearing cool headphones. Yeah, there you go. So that's it's so quick, it's so easy. Miniature version of Dali Mini, Min Dali. There you go. You should go and play with it now. Yeah? Okay. All right. Rodent's out.